on the campus of St. John's University. You are looking live inside Karna Seca Arena. Gavin Shaw, Larry Karitney here on the NFHS Network to bring you our final championship of the day. The Class A final between Brooklyn Law and Tech taking on Roosevelt Educational Campus. Larry, this could potentially be the game of the day, which is saying something given that the first one came down to a buzzer beater, and the second one had perhaps the greatest dunk either of us have ever seen a true posterization, and it potentially marks the end of the high school career of Larry Moreno, the six foot one senior combo guard, 29 points, five rebounds, seven assists a game. You've told me you think he's one of the best players in the city. Victor Ogbo wins it for Brooklyn Law and Tech, and they have the possession of the basketball first as we were underway in this Class A championship. A chance to start it off with a bang. Julio Cuero can't hit. Tough put back, thrown up. Rebound fought for, and setting the tone early, Roosevelt Education Campus, at least seemingly, they committed a foul on the play, so it'll stay down with l and -T. Education Campus showing a zone look. A chance for redemption for Cuero, and he takes advantage. The first points on the board for Brooklyn LNT. And an opportunity to answer the ball. Swung into the corner. Easy quit. Uh, does. Three ball for him. Only five points a game on the season, but the senior starting this one with a trifecta. Hot start for both teams. 30 seconds in. The loudest it's been all day. The attack of the rim by Devontae Cook hangs on the back. Basketball gods not feeling generous, deciding not to let it drop, but they'll give the ball right back to LNT after it was thrown away. Need to mention also that Book and Law and Tech did play in last year's championship game. They lost uh, after having a 17-point lead at halftime on a buzzer beater by Walton's Arturo Sealy. They lost 58-57. Larry Moreno trying to change that. A three ball to start his day. We mentioned it in the pregame. 29 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. Just recently passed 2,000 for his career. The stats are stunning. They give a lot of room to Shamar Wisdom and with good reason. Back come the Jets. Moving down the floor. Moreno again. Connecting one more time. What a way for him to start. Excuse me, though, that time Devontae Cook. So three different threes for three different players. And then he picks the pocket of a bear going coast to coast and drawing a foul on the ground. So it's three different LNT players getting in on the action. Julio Cuero first, then Larry Moreno hit a three, and then Devontae Cook from the corner. A bomb. Threes galore so far. Four threes between both teams and a 9-3 lead for Brooklyn Law Tech. And again for the Jets, they haven't had a particularly close game yet this preseason. A 29-point win in the semifinal, not something you see all that often. Cook was thinking about another one. Instead sends it to Moreno. Four for four. An electric start for Brooklyn LNT. They are setting the tone in this championship fight. Three-point shooting contest so far. 12-3, Brooklyn Law Tech. Trying to get some momentum going are the Bears, but they nearly turn it over. Reyes sends it out as they reset things with Thomas Mar Marinas. Carlos Rosario attacking right, taking some contact, hanging, but left it short. LNT, they keep working into the corner. Four of four from three. That time Moreno stepped out. But Brooklyn, they have yet to miss. I don't know they've missed one from behind the arc, but four or five is, is pretty good. Only two minutes into this one. The shuffle pass inside. Reyes slowed down. And Marina is ready to restart the offense. Pass nearly intercepted. Marina's back in the corner behind the hoop. Didn't go down for him. Devontae Cook trying to pile on. He hits the runner. Cook 
an interesting player, the rare non-score first point guard in the PSAL. 11 points, but nine assists and four rebounds alongside it per game. And between him and Moreno, a backcourt that averages 16 assists, this LNT team is a lot of fun to watch. Marina is operating between the cylinders. Now he attacks right. The drop-off pass tipped around, and it's going to stay with the Bears. Roosevelt Education Campus, no slouches in their own right, despite being six seed, 18 and two on the season, 15 and one in league play. They have rarely been challenged, but they haven't quite faced a team like LNT. Pass intercepted. Moreno ahead to Cuero. Can't put it in initially. And now a break the other way. The Bears have numbers. Three on two. Up to Marinez. Three ball on the way. No good. Long rebound. Put back up and in by Isquita. So Isquita gets on the board. And the lead is cut down to nine. But the Bears still have more work to do. Fancy dribbling. That time by Cook. Unable to convert initially. Third attempt. Cook and one. Devontae Cook and another three-point opportunity for LNT. Whether it's old school or new school, I'll, I'll give it to him. That would be their fifth of the game. Less than halfway through quarter number one. Good job crashing the boards as well. And we'll try to complete the three-point play. And he can't do it. You hear just how loud it is on this side of the court. Roosevelt Education Campus, they showed up in spades. A deep three ball Marinas. That would really get them going, but not destined to drop. Moreno up ahead. Trey ball. Got it. Count another one. And a timeout taken by Wilson Diaz. That one hit by Joseph Pena. Getting in on the action, 19 to five, an LNT barrage. We'll see if Roosevelt Education can survive it next on the NFHS Network. Four starters have hit three-pointers for Brooklyn LNT. Just about a dream start for them as they're out to a 14-point lead just halfway through the first quarter. Gavin Joel, Larry Caritney here with you for NFHS Network. We are just witnessing a barrage. Good test of toughness for the Bears to see how they respond to this when they kick out. They get an open tray of their own. Mahmoud Yanusa missed it badly. LNT, an opportunity to build on the advantage. Devontae Cook, the click out. Pena again. Three pointer number seven. Brooklyn LNT, an aerial assault on no, Roosevelt Education. No fear from Pena on that shot. Looking confident. The answer no, doesn't go down. The Bears reset things with Yanusa. Backs up, gets ready to attack again. Sends it into Reyes. Reyes against the double team. The twisting shot, no good. Reyes battling for it with Pena. And it's going to go back LNT's way, trying to build on a 17-point advantage. Roosevelt starting off 2 of 11 from the field. Only five points here. LNT has to be thrilled. They showed up. Wisdom the pickoff. Three on two, thought about pulling off. Now goes into the lane, and he's fouled on his way there. That's just the first team foul against LNT. So not quite in trouble yet. They're going to say it was on the shot. So Wisdom, just a 41% free throw shooter, will get an opportunity at the charity stripe. So the foul was on the floor, so they're going to take it out underneath. So instead, Wisdom on the inbound. He was trying to trick his way into a free throw. He was just hanging out around the line saying, you know what, you guys could give it to me. We're down by 17. Nice take, but deflected away. Back comes LNT. 
Absolutely relentless. Nice dump off inside by Cook. Thrown back out. Another three ball on the way. Are you kidding me? Everything falling for Brooklyn Law and Tech. Three-pointer number eight. Duck in, knocked away, no. So it's Moreno dribbling up the court. Working his way through traffic, the kick out, Cuero in the corner, number nine, Julio Cuero. I've never seen anything quite like this. Brooklyn, L Law and Tech, why not call them the Golden State Warriors? <laughs> That's what they look like they're shooting and they're making all their shots as well. What do you do of your Roosevelt education? They didn't think they were going to see an NBA team again. And they are clearly rattled. Turnover. Simple backcourt violation that time. And Brooklyn Law and Tech looking to end this one after one. A knockout. They're making it look extremely easy with their ability to move the ball around. Accurate shooting out there for Law and Tech. This is just insane. Nine three-pointers in the first quarter. Eight if you don't want to count the three-point play. Timeout, checks. Wilson Diaz takes a timeout. Will stop with him. A mercy killing in Queens. Brooklyn L&T up by 23. Another, welcome you back with another one. We go to commercial for 30 seconds, and Law and & Tech hits another three ball. Nine of ten for the game. Julio Guerrero airmailed one to start things off, and since then, Brooklyn L&T has not missed. Currently on track, Larry, for 124 <laughs> points. In a game that only lasts 32 minutes. I remember actually a couple weeks ago, D'Angelo Russell, the Brooklyn Nets, who hit his first seven three-pointers in the first quarter, let alone kind of a performance here by BLT. They've done it collectively. They've made nine in a row since airballing the first one.